Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video is going to be about how do we know when this wonderful EV3 motor, large motor, no longer works and it's time to say goodbye to it. Uh, this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you a situation where the large motor didn't work, the testing to prove that it didn't work, and now to say goodbye to it. So if you want to see that, stay with me. Before we get to the video, my car needs a wash and I thought you might want to go along with me to get it washed. So here we go. Oh yeah, I gotta love that. Ooh, my car was a disaster. So this is well needed. Wow, those things are loud. It's kind of satisfying. Actually, it's a lot satisfying to get a car wash. Ooh, here comes the spinning thing of death. So the motors that you see in front of you, um, our school bought the LEGO EV3 kits back in 2015, it's 2019 right now. So we're slowly like you might be seeing in your house where things get to the point where they're starting to break down, like the dishwasher or the air conditioner or something, where it has a lifespan and we might be seeing that some of these motors are coming to the end of their lifespan. So let me go ahead and show you a robot where we think the motor has come to its end and some testing to make sure because we don't want to toss this unless we're absolutely sure. And then you'll see kind of the final decision on what we do with, do the, with this motor and how do we come to the decision that it's dead. So let's go to the robot. Okay, so let me show you what I'm talking about here. I have this robot plugged into ports B and C. I'm on motor control. So right now motor B is working fine. If we go to C, you can see that it's lighting up that we want to do C but it's just not functioning. So the forward and backwards on C are not, but B is fine. So what we're going to first do is just try swapping out this a cable here and seeing if that will fix the problem. Okay, so what I've done is, um, you can see I have a longer cable here, and C is still not working. I took the wheel off. B is still fine. C, just not getting anything. And I thought it might be the axle, but, you know, I took the wheel off. And it's just tr not even trying to rotate. So what I'm going to do now is try plugging this in to a different motor and seeing if it would work that way. So what I did is I took the cable out of this motor, plugged it into this one. And now we're getting rotations out of this motor. So... The forwards and backwards work, B and C work, and then on motor or port view, we 
we still get you know the C motor that it's in there but you know it wasn't working before but now that I swapped out this motor let's go back to motor control BC now we're getting rotations out of that so one last experiment just to make sure before I consider this just motor dead is what I'll do is I'll try plugging in another brick to this motor just to check and see if it's still not working okay so I have a brand new brick here that's hooked into this motor that has not been working we're on BC and that's definitely not good where we're still not getting this motor to respond even though we've changed the brick. One last thing, let me just try unplugging the cable and just making sure it's not a cable issue. So let's try this 14 here. Sorry about that everybody. Ah, for the sake of experimentation. Okay, so new cable and we're still not getting anything from this C motor so you know it's just you might come to the realization that you know this motor you know like your car motor is going to have a lifespan and you just it's just hard to um, think that so many of these motors are coming to this issue so Sadly, we're going to have to go ahead and consider this motor dead. Um, this team, luckily, it wasn't a giant build where this would be more of a headache to take out. But this team will just basically have to now swap out the bad motor for the good one and, and hopefully continue and everything's good. Okay, guys, so thank you for staying with me on this video about these motors. Um, it's just one of those things. I don't know if you guys come to the same conclusion that it's really hard to take this motor and go, whoop, not, you know, no longer working. Um, it just feels like there's always supposed to be a fix for it. And in this case, I just don't see one. Um, you know, I'll probably hang on to it and then check it with, you know, 10 more bricks just to make sure because that's just how I am. I don't want to say adios unless we're absolutely sure because, you know, miracles happen, you know. But anyway... Um, so we, we're going to say goodbye to that motor um, eventually, but it's just one of those things now where we're starting to see things come to its end where, you know, the first two years we didn't have this problem. So hopefully you guys um, don't find yourself in this situation, but if you do, those are the kind of tests you want to do before you do any tossing of anything this expensive, okay? All right, guys, I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Zega Robotics. I am out.